Hey, what's going on, everybody? Chris Nowaski here, and I'm back with another NFL mock draft video, the first of 2019. Now, I'm recording this on April 17th, and a day from to a week from tomorrow is the start of the NFL draft. Now, as you all know, the Giants had a bad year last year. A lot of things went wrong. Um, Oda Beckham was traded in the offseason. And uh, there's, again, question marks about the future at quarterback and Eli and Manning. So, that being said, we're back on the fanspeak.com using on the, mock, on the clock mock draft simulator. Um, the Giants have 12 picks this year. New York Giants. We're going to New York Giants, obviously. And, um, all right. And, uh, of course, seven rounds. Got to do seven rounds, right? You got to do the whole. You got to do the whole shebang. Uh, I'm gonna do. You know what? We're gonna composite. I love using composite. That's my favorite one. So I like when they update it when they do that, like toward toward the uh, start of the draft. They always have the composites. Uh, uh, difficult. You gotta do difficult, right? Seven round mock draft, New York Giants, and let's draft. All right. Size so mirror from last year. It's kind of go through, and. Uh, you know, basically make the Giants picks as if I'm the general manager. I'm a big believer um, in building the team up from the trenches. Um, um, I really like quarterback Dwayne Haskins, but I think as a whole, the quarterback group for next year is stronger. And um, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So they took Colin Murray, Nick Bosa, Quinn Williams, Devin White, Brian Burns. Not actually sure Brian Burns is. Can we click on it? We cannot. So, Josh Allen intrigues me. Ed Oliver intrigues me. John Williams also intrigues me. George Allen Gary intrigues me. And Dwayne Haskins is also there. And so is Greedy Williams. A lot of really good players. Clevin Farrell is also there. But I'm going to go with the Jersey guy, Josh Allen. Giants need um, an uptick and pass rushers and sap production they now run 3-4 um, defense and Josh Allen will be a perfect fit get after the quarterback so I was hoping to take um, yeah so all right so here we go the Giants still have Eli Manning Christian Wilkins is still there so is Cody Ford um, Really tough pick, honestly. Dexter Lawrence, Damon Jones. Really, 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 really tough pick. Need uh, Giants also obviously need offense to tackle. Um, I'm gonna, but I'm going to go with Christian Wilkins and shore up that defensive line. They lost Olivia Vernon also. Um, they always seem to. Drafty tackle is let him go. But Chrissy Wilkins was productive at Clemson. Obviously a very good team at Clemson. Won, won the Natty. Won the National Championship a couple months ago. Just a dominant team. He was a really good player. Alright. Down to round two. Giants are on the clock. See, Giants could go in a bevy of ways with this. Um, they could go safety. They could take a cornerback. Wide receiver, safety, shoot up the offensive line, the guard. I'm gonna take a tackle. So I'm gonna take a tackle. And I'm going to go Caleb McGarry out of Washington. Um, let's see, Walter. Let's go back. Let's go take a look at the offensive. I like looking at WalterFootball.com for the. Um, you know, prospect rankings. They get a good, good feel. Um, Giants need help. Giants need help with offensive line also. Guard and tackle. So, let's see. What is he at? Gary. Ford. I probably should have took Ford. Excuse me. I'm sorry. That's early. Yeah, so I uh, point with Tech, I mean, same boy, decent league, teams like the McGregor, and I'm injured at this point, I'm just going to buy a football, get a little league, and I'm going to find a tackle. 
Giants need a right tackle. They say it's right tackle. I take it. If you don't know me, um, I cover Rutgers uh, athletics and also high school sports in Jersey. So I know a lot of the Big Ten guys, Rutgers guys, NJ high school football guys that you know are in the draft. Dwayne Haskins, for example. Um, Middlesex County guy like myself. He's originally from Holland Park. Josh Allen from North Jersey. That's in Montclair. Alright. Five minutes in. Down to pick three. Giants have pick 95 in the third round. Alright, and Giants are on the clock. How crazy it'd be if you get Saquon Barkley and Miles Sanders, but Giants don't need that. So we go over. Maybe take a running back later, man. Bill needs first. Alright, let's take a look at the cornerbacks. Isaiah Johnson's candidate to go to corner. I mean, uh, to go to place uh, safety. You know what? I like I like versatility. I like I like the versatility. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take versatility and uh, go to go Johnson. Giants also need a cornerback. Um, Janoris Jenkins is gonna be there forever, and um, he's also expensive. So and he's not, and um, Johnson's can't need to move to safety. The Giants have need for safety, free safety, like I said. Obviously, he played corner. And um, he has he obviously had good cover skills. Now uh, let's take a look at the wide receivers real quick. Oh my God. Uh, all right, Anthony Johnson, Anthony Johnson, David Stills, or really good receivers in the draft that I like. Low Jordan Humphrey also from Texas down here at the bottom. Um, I saw Johnson play against Rutgers, big receiver, and um, we're gonna we're gonna take him. Giants Giants need more size on the outside. Um, they have, right now, they're basically two type receivers. They're, some, um, you know, smaller slot receivers. So, getting getting someone like him, on that, getting someone like Johnson on the outside is very key. Scroll down, Giants. Another, another pick in the fourth round here. Um, let's see here. Mohamed, Boston Collins. Safety corner. You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't pass him up. I like him on. I like him on Lewis out of um, USC. Really like him. Obviously USC. Obviously recruits at a high level. So you know, and I really like him. I've been reading up on him. Um, a months ago, actually, every few years, whether it's recruiting or the draft, they, I always pick out a few guys that I really, really like. And this year, Mon Lewis, uh, cornerback at USC, was one of them. So now we're down. Now we're out in the fifth round. Let's take a look at the linebackers. Giants always use linebackers. And speaking of Mon Lewis, one of the linebackers that I really like is Cameron Smith also at USC so I'm gonna fit him in right here can't can't risk uh, losing him even though the Giants had back to back picks so it didn't really matter in the fifth round and let's see we're gonna take a look at the offensive tackles again Tariq, Tariq Cole my guy out of Rutgers uh, if you don't know Tariq Cole he uh he was highly regarded by scouts a couple years ago. He got dinged up the senior this year, senior as a senior this past year. So his stock has fall, his stock fell. Excuse me. Oh, let's see the guards. Oh, I like Nate Erbig. Nate Erbig is my guy. Uh, so going back to Walter football quick, look, look, look at the guards. Cause I always, I like I like Alex Bars, Mitch Hyatt, Drew Samia, and Nate Irving that I just chose. 
Those are four guards I've been targeting in the later rounds. But I want to see how Wax of Football um, stacks them up. So, Mike Adidas, Mike Adidas is another good one. McCover. He's He was still available. He was still there. Well, here we go. Bump on up. Bump powers. Pass to him. Alex Bars. Yeah, see, see, I was part of the injury history though. That's rough. That's rough. I don't like injury history. So, alright, I think I did well. My Nader, Nader big pick. I like Nader big. Alright, so let's see here. Let's take a look at the safeties again. Marvel Tell. Edge. D Lyman got one. Wide right receiver. Wide right receiver, we probably could wait. We're going to take Marvel Tell. Sequel Hampton. You know what? Let's go Sequel Hampton. Sequel Hampton is a very sneaky pick. Rutgers guy. Um, New Jersey guy also. He has very good range. He has good size. 6'1", like 210-ish, about. Really good size, good speed, he has good range. Um, he could play zone or man. He played a lot of man at Rutgers, but I think he would really excel in zone. It's just because Rutgers played a lot of zone, he played against slot a lot also. Alright. So we're gonna go. Um, take a look. Let's take a look at the wide receivers again. You know what? Because Lil John Humphrey's still there, let's take him. Uh, Giants can restock the talent at the wide receiver level. Give Eli Manning uh, more weapons this year and um, another quarterback next year. Like I said before, if the Giants don't take Haskins at 6 or 17, I think they shouldn't take a quarterback at all in this draft and wait until next year. Um, the only quarterback I like is Haskins, that I feel can be a difference maker. I don't want Kyle Murray. Um, I'm not not knocking him, but I just don't want um, the Giants. Uh, I don't don't think he's a good fit. All right, so moving along, round number seven, almost done. Boom, boom, boom. Scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through. Bless Austin, the Rutgers right there. Cornerback, entry history, but really good corner. Very talented. And he's recovering well. But I already took two corners, so. Can't afford to take two. And then we have another one, excuse me. Running back. Mm -mm -mm. There's a lot of good running backs in this draft. It's very deep. Honestly, if the Giants are smart, they would just take one as an undrafted free agent, honestly. They also have Robin Martin, still back there from Rutgers, Saquon Barkley, Wayne Gallman. Very good players. Obviously, obviously Barkley is. It's funny because Barkley, Robin Martin, um, were, you know, committed together at Rutgers. It was very interesting how that all shook out. I'm um, going to take Wyoming, Carl Granderson. I've heard a lot about him. Wyatt Ray also from Boston College. He just got scooped up. Now, I think the Giants had two picks in the seventh round. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, they do. Okay. <laughs> that was that was fast. Um, we take Khalil Hodge at Buffalo. He's a good, he's a good player. And he's got like Anthony Johnson. Kind of under, underrated, just because they play for Buffalo, but um, they're recruited by a lot, a lot larger schools. All right, there you go. Well, the draft's almost done. Again, thank you guys for um, tuning in and uh, seeing who I think the Giants were gonna pick. 
Nice job. So let's take a recap real quick. You got Josh Allen, edge rusher to Kentucky. Defensive lineman Christian Wilkins at Clemson. Offensive tackle Caleb McGarry out of Washington. Isaiah Johnson, cornerback out of Houston. Wide receiver Anthony Johnson out of Buffalo. Cornerback Iman Lewis Marshall, USC. Linebacker Cameron Smith, USC. Guard Nate Erbig, Stanford. Saquon Hampson, safety out of Rutgers. Jersey guy. Will Jonah Humphrey, wide receiver, Texas. Carl Granderson, edge rusher, Wyoming. Cool house. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.